All right, Mark Warnke here with packoats.com. I get asked all the time about haulers. How do you haul your goats and what to think about? Um, remember, I got big, tall, 220 plus pound alpines with long horns, and my height of my hauler is 52 inches in the back of my truck. Uh, and I haven't found that it's ever been too short. It, that height works great. The key about haulers that I see consistently that the mistake that is made, if you are driving and almost all of us are gonna hit a freeway or a highway when we're driving to the trailhead, and you don't have the wind off your goats, it is gonna beat the crap out of them. It's super important that you have enough ventilation, but you're not blasting them with wind. Because if you are, they're gonna show up and they're gonna be half of what they were once they hit the trailhead because the drive there beat them up. So. You can see this is how I did mine. It's nothing fancy. I mean, this is one that I used for years. Um, I like having a narrower door. I like being able to put them in. I can get seven packers uh, in this unit. Now, let me show you what I've developed. The problem with this unit is that it's too high to really build a roof rack on top. You can't get through drive throughs uh, um, and you also can't get through uh, parking garages, that sort of thing. So there's nowhere to put your panniers and you don't want to stuff them all in your truck. So what I did is I designed this one and this is the hauler that I designed. And what it accomplishes is a couple of key things that the other one couldn't. Number one is you have a place to put your panniers. So without sacrificing almost any inside room, we now have enough room to haul packed panniers because remember your panniers are need to be packed in the garage uh, not on the trailhead I mean you can on the trailhead but then it's a pain and it takes a long time I suggest you do it at the garage ahead of time they're all scaled they're ready to go goats are hit and you're on the trail um, this lets you put full panniers in so this will hold six goats and all your panniers the other thing is is that it's got really good ventilation and at the same time it's also got, if I don't want really good ventilation, I can shut things down. So I can shut the ventilation down up top and I can also alter this ventilation. So if I close this door, you'll notice what I do is I just pop these. And then this comes down. Now I got full on ventilation. I load my goats and they're gonna have tons of ventilation in there. So, really, really cool system. If you swing over here, you can see the edge of this box goes to about right here. So this is the width of the box. It's plenty for a panniers and coolers and all the things you need. And you can see I have them on both sides, but they only hang a couple inches over the outside of the truck. So it's not a huge pain in the tail, and it functions really well. Um, this is powder coated, so it should be pretty darn bomb proof. This wasn't cheap to build. I mean, just build costs, you know, you know, I, I'm gonna end up being 14, 1500 bucks, and then, um, and then the powder coating was five, 600 bucks. So, you know, you're two grand, these things aren't cheap, but it's a really good system, and I can have them made for you if you want them. So, anyway, that's kind of the hauler and what to think about with the haulers. If you're gonna go with a system like this, they work, I used the crap out of that little bugger. And I think I built that steel and everything, probably 400 bucks-ish, 500 bucks. Um, so that's kind of the difference. It functions really well, but it just never looked good in the back of my truck. Now here's the thing to think about with truck haulers. One of the advantages with goats is that you can get into trailheads nobody else can. As soon as you have a horse trailer or a trailer behind you, that becomes less applicable. So the truck is your friend, the problem is where do you put all the stuff and the goats if you have a decent sized string. That's why I designed this. That's why I went with that, but when I went with that, I was always stuffing everything in the back seat and there wasn't room enough for the people. So I have a trailer as well that I use as a secondary, but this one's when I'm going on my really hardcore stuff and hitting trailheads nobody else can. This is the one I'm using. So I hope that helps. Take care, packoats.com, Mark Warnke.